So yeah, what is up, SLM? Yeah, I haven't uploaded here in a dangerously long amount of time. It's been real busy. I've been trying to get more members for the clan and trying to get everything situated for everyone else and trying to get our league and our server, which is now down forever. Because yeah. our, our server owner whatever wants to be him in trade signs with a different clan and my phone just went off for no apparent reason, for no reason whatsoever. I hate that shit. So I got a little bit of some OU here. Um and do dark light scheme. This really matter the light screen. I like the uh, scheme preferably. If it's dark light you probably won't tell because it's not in the damn recording. So yeah. So here we have, you know, there's the team preview and stuff. I have, you know, this new little OU team we're using with the UU Tokikis, which has been helping out real good. So as I see the lead, um a lead leopard. My general idea is is that this leopard's a prankster set, as you can see, with the swagger and substitute combination. And yeah, so he's gonna keep substituting. And since my draw is not max attack, it's not gonna do that much to myself, even if I get the para. So um, he's gonna go for the um, thunder wave, crippling my speed, so I can't really do anything actually. But I do have Toby see who does have the heal bell and stuff like that Ugh. so yeah I'm gonna go for the iron hand break his sub as I think what did he do oh he goes for the swagger again and I actually don't hit myself in the confusion and yeah so um he's gonna go to his John Legend and I'm like ooh, okay he named his Chandler John Legend okay I would name a ghost John. I don't even know. But anyways, this is going to just push a team. Like, okay, what is this? A rap artist themed team? Because this is kind of stupid. But anyway, so I go for the heal blow as he gets paralyzed in the first turn. I'm just pretty much going to get some serene grace, para hacks, and or going on some para hacks. Some para flinching, I mean. And yeah. So I'm gonna go for that, and I'm gonna pretty much just hack this scissor out to death as he can get up a bullet punch, which doesn't do too fucking much to Togekiss, because Togekiss does have some defense investment, and I really need to get rid of that fucking arrow. But yeah, and then yeah, Togekiss is just like Jirachi's bodyguard if you think about it, because because Jirachi is mainly weak to ground and fire. Which Togekiss can take perfectly fine. So he goes into his most death and like this. Okay, what is up with this art artist? What the fuck? But I'm not gonna judge a guy for the fact that he named his Pokemon after rap artist. It's not needed. So I'm gonna go for the uh for the yeah for the move I just mentioned the, the air slash to break us up and I'm just gonna leave Togekiss in to die. Because there's nothing I can really do now besides going into my scarf Latias and go for the Jackometer and I miss. I'm like, oh fucking course. Now of course in retrospect, if I had didn't miss the Draco, Latias would have stayed around for a bit more as you'll soon see. So I'm going back to his John Legend. And um he I'm gonna go to my water watch to sponge the fire blast, but that's a specs that's a specs uh hit from um my text. I'm gonna go for the Willow Woods, pretending to switch to um to um Salamance actually, but Salamance is Lumberry set, so yeah. So he's gonna go for the vote switch. I think I go for the Willow Woods again, I think. Predicting a Salamance switch again. But no, I don't get the prediction here, and yeah, I missed the Willow Woods anyway, so Salamance again would have been all good. So anyway. Rotom Wash is gonna faint out because yeah. There goes my counter. So I'm gonna go for the sub because I'm still thinking I can take a sub. I can take a, uh, a hit. Now I did play pretty reckless here in this battle a bit because, like, I should have just went for the stone and dropped the bat instead of losing a little bit more of HP, which means Big Sean, aka Ditto, could not kill me with it. that. So um, I'm gonna go for my Jirachi and. Yeah, since he's burned from Rotom's Willow Whips, close combat's not gonna be doing shit. So I can take the time out to freely get up a wish. I should have went up. I should have got up Stealth Rocks, cause just for Salamence, just for Salamence. But I was still predicting the Salamence switch in because a burnt Terrakian doesn't stay in on like a full HP Tarachi. That's something you don't do. 
but I'm just gonna go for the wish because I know I could live another hit so there's that um he's gonna hit me with that and I'm not gonna take shit from it still I'm just this is looking like a 5 ko and I'm just gonna go for the iron head get all my health back and be straight now of course at this battle I was thinking the following okay if he's a life orb salamence I can T wave it and hacks it to death but turns out it's Slumberry, so I'm like, okay, now I got a fucking problem. Now, what I could have did was switch to Latias to completely sponge the uh, hit, thus making it to go to uh, which is what I should have done. But I'm actually Modest Scarf Latias, not Timid Scarf. If I was Timid Scarf, I would have outsped it. But no, I'm not. I'm uh, the other thing. So, he's going to outrage and I live with a sliver bit of HP. And I couldn't get off the sub, and I'm like, okay, well, this is GG, but check this out. Check out how Hax just screws this kid over. So, um, I live with like, a, like 1%, and he hits himself, and that does so much to himself. That does like 27 right off the bat. So I'm like, okay, cool, I can go for protect as he hit as he goes for the outrage. So I'm like, okay. Now all I need to do is for you to hit yourself two more times, and that's all good. So, so yeah, I failed to protect, but I know I could still live it. And he hits himself with that. And he hits himself, and I won the battle. And I was like, L O L L O L L O L O L O L O. I was just L O L on that entire match because like that whole time I really should have lost, because Terrakian would have died to an outrage or. Dragon Claw, whatever move that he had, easily because it was like at forty percent. Let me check if I can see his health. It was at thirty-five percent, and Guy Scroll was at you no know, one percent. If I didn't go for that roost, so yeah, this is me dealing on the gang and SLM. Uh, we should start getting back upload soon. Thanks for everyone who has subbed to us and everything. We're trying to get the channel back going with. Till we get more members who can upload, who can do more things and everything, so. Yeah. So, yeah, this is me, Dean Dog the King, the leader of SLM, signing off right now.